Hi. Today in this video of division and algebra, we will first learn how the signs, how the plus minus signs behave when we perform division among algebraic expressions. So let me take two or three very simple expressions and explain you how actually the plus and minus signs behave. So I'll take one very simple expression which is AB divided by A. Right? This can be written as A multiplied by B divided by A. Right? Here this A is in multiplication and this A is in division so both will get cancelled and we will have our quotient as B. That means when dividend is positive AB which is positive and divisor is also positive A is the positive A the quotient will be positive term. Right? Now let's take one more example where the dividend is negative. So we have minus AB divided by positive divisor that is plus A. This can be written as A multiplied by minus B. Right? Because in multiplication plus sign multiplied by negative sign is negative. This negative sign can be associated with either A or B. To our convenience, we are associating it with B. So I have written minus AB as A multiplied by minus B. And it is divided by A. Right? So here this positive A and this positive A will get cancelled and we will have minus B as quotient. So when dividend is negative and divisor is positive, the quotient will be a negative term. We can perform the division in our usual method and the sign has to be taken care of. If dividend is negative and divisor is positive, the quotient will be negative. That we have to remember. And now let's take one more example where the divisor is negative. So let's divide AB by minus A. See, here I am doing a um, little smart thing. The AB can be written as minus A multiplied by minus B because two negative terms if multiplied gives us a positive term. So AB can actually be written as either A multiplied by B as I have used in first example or it can be written as minus A multiplied by minus B. Why I am doing this? I am trying to match it with the divisor. Divisor is minus A. So AB I have expanded as minus A multiplied by minus B. So this minus A and this minus A will get cancelled and we will have minus B as our quotient. This means if dividend is positive and divisor is negative so we get a negative quotient. This means if any one of the dividend or divisor is negative the quotient will be negative. Now let's take one more example and understand how the signs behave when both the terms are negative. So that means minus AB when it gets divided by minus A what happens? This can be written as minus AB can be written as minus A multiplied by B and then everything is divided by minus A. Okay, so this minus A, this minus A and this minus A will get cancelled leaving the quotient as plus B. So that means when both the dividend and divisor are negative the quotient will be positive. It is very much same as the behavior of signs in multiplication. So what we have concluded from here? We have concluded that when positive term gets divided by a positive term, we get a quotient as a positive term, right? And when a negative term gets divided by a negative term, then also we get a positive result, right? But when a negative term gets divided by a positive term, the quotient will be negative 
and one positive term gets divided by a negative term then also we get a negative quotient. So as we can see the signs pretty much behave as they behave in multiplication.